What's going on YouTube? July from JulyTheMarketer.com here, back again with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be talking to you uh, about one of the easiest ways to make money online in 2019. But before we get into that, definitely subscribe, hit that alert button so you know when I post a new video. Um, and if you have any comments, leave those down below because I would love to interact with you guys. I'm also, uh, I just started out my brand new Instagram account. Um, I'm trying to build that up, so definitely go check that out, at July the Marketer, And also check out my blog. Uh, it has some really cool articles. Um, if you want to go check that out, it's blog.jalanithemarketer.com. The reason why I want to make this video is because a lot of people ask me, how do you make money online? I have a lot of friends who I went to college with um, and they see me doing different things online and they really have a lot of questions about, Jelani, how are you doing this? How do you make money online? I don't understand it. Uh, are you in a scam? Uh, like, what, what is it that you do, right? Um, but I want to make this video, and I'll be making some other videos like this. It's not really going to be a tutorial. It's more, this video is, I'm just going to be talking to you. Uh, but for good measure, um, I'm not doing any scams, guys, okay? So for those who are out there who are thinking, this kid's a scammer. This kid doesn't know what he's talking about. He, uh, you know, he's not real. He's not legit. No. Uh, what I do, and this is probably one of the easiest ways to get started and how I got started with online marketing, um, besides uh, just going out there and learning the thing that you want to do, just going on YouTube and really studying people, really studying what they're doing, study the, the, their channels, study the content, and kind of replicating that or emulating that. Um, the easiest way in 2019 to make money online is to trade time for services. And what I mean by that is learning something, a skill set that another person may not know, um, and then offering that skill set to that person for a monthly retainer. It is the easiest way to make money online. And it's honestly the best way because you can actually uh, take on multiple clients and charge up to five thousand, ten thousand dollars per client. But when you're when you're just getting started, you probably want to charge about fifteen hundred dollars, which is I know it sounds so crazy to go into someone else's business or go to someone else and say, "Hey, I need fifteen hundred dollars to do this skill set." But the thing is, they need you, okay? And this is something that you really have to understand if you want to make money online is that you uh, have have a skill that they need, right? And all you're doing is exchanging that skill set for money. If you think about it, money is nothing but uh, an exchange, right? For example, if I were to sell this water bottle, right, um, and you were to give me a dollar, that means that you value this water bottle more than you value the dollar, right? So you value my skill set, you value what I can bring to your business, what I can bring to you more than you value the money. And that is one of the critical points that I actually learned at Funnel Hacking Live a few weeks ago, is it's just an exchange and you shouldn't feel bad about asking for money. That's probably one of the number one things a lot of people who are just getting started with, with online marketing is they are so afraid of asking for the sale, they're so afraid of putting themselves out there to make money, um, that they never get it, right? So the easiest way is to trade your skill set for money. I, I can guarantee you that if you were to just hone into one thing, if it's funnel design, if it's funnel building, if it's graphic design, if it's photography, if it's um, if it's Facebook ads, if it's YouTube ads, whatever it is, if you hone into that skill set, you can definitely be a benefit to someone else and help them dramatically. I really, really believe that if you want to make it in 2019, you have to take up a particular skill, then use that money that you're getting in that particular uh, business transaction with, with your clients. Use that money to build up your personal brand. Build, uh, use that money to build up uh, whatever product that you may want to sell. Maybe if it's a course, maybe if it's a challenge, maybe if it's like a mini, uh, mini course, anything like that. You can use that money on ad spend and that's how you really start to uh, get this thing rolling, right? Because you're, you, you have a, uh, it's basically like two parts, right? Right? You're trading your time for your services, but you're also building uh, your own business. And this is how a lot of people, for example, like Steven Larson, how he did it, right? He was working for Russell Brunson, um, and after he was working, done working for Russell Brunson for eight hours, he would then go back to his own business and work for another eight hours, right? It's a grind. It's hard. But once you understand how it all works and, and every day you're going in, you're actually learning. Every day you're going in and wanting to learn more. You're going in with an open mind. You're going to find success. And if you're persistent, and consistent with what you do, you're going to make it. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I can guarantee it. So all you need to do right, right now is 
go to uh, YouTube, right? And just think about the different things that you're good at, okay? Just think about if you're good at graphic design. Think about if you're good at photography, if you're good with words, right? Copywriting. If you're good with um, understanding audiences and how people buy, right? Facebook ads, YouTube ads, right? These are all skill sets that you can hone in on. Go on YouTube, look at what content is out there, and then learn from them, learn more things, and just start to kind of formulate a, um, a spreadsheet, if you will, things that you can provide other people, right? And you can say, hey, I charge this for this, I charge that for that. Going out there, go on Facebook, find people that need those services and just uh, get, get a starter client, right? Get a client that you can charge $1,000 a month. $1,000 per month is not a lot of money. If you break it down day by day, um, let's, actually, let's actually look at that real quick. Um, if you go to Google, um, it should, it, it, we can, we can, uh, see how much that is per day, right? Um, and it really isn't that much money, right? So let's say 30 days, a thousand divided by 30, it's $33 per day. Okay. So it's not that much money, right? You're not, it's not $33 an hour. It's $33 per day, right? Which is, you know, it's not, it's not a lot of money. It's, it's pretty much below the average person, what they make, uh, per day, right? Um, or per hour. So when you break it down like that, you can kind of even position it that way. Like, hey, it's only $33 a day. I'm going to be giving you more value than $33 a day. I can definitely help you. But there's different ways to position. I'm just trying to give you like $1,000 is not a lot of money. And if someone cannot pay $1,000, then they're not in the point of their business where they need to be hiring you in the first place, right? So you want to go out there looking for clients that A, have a business already, B, or uh, they understand that they have to spend money on good people who have good skill sets that will save them time because essentially what you're doing is saving them time and you can charge a premium for that. Time is really expensive, but you also have a really good skill set that can help them in the long run. So this is something that you can charge a lot of money for. So just get a starter client, a thousand dollars per month, right? And then you can gradually increase your price points as you get more skill sets that you can give that person or give other people, right? You can find other clients um, in different niches or um, not even different niches. I'm probably sticking one niche, but just different clients that have different business models, business structures, and then how you can provide uh, different uh, services to them. Uh, and that's probably the easiest way. And honestly, I learned all this stuff from this book, Dotcom Secrets. Um, and this, actually, this book is what got me started in this online marketing space, really to the point where I am now. Um, like I said, I got started with drop shipping, but I didn't really understand how to build a following. I didn't understand how to trade my time for services and really how to make high income every single month. So this book right here, click the link down below if you want to get this book. It's free. Um, all you have to do is pay like $7.95, I think it is, for shipping and handling. Um, and then you can get this book, read this book. This book is absolutely critical if you want to make it in this online space. Um, and you definitely want to kind of write notes when you get that book. Uh, like I said, click link down below to get your free copy, but it will show you that book by Russell Brunson, who's the owner of ClickFunnels. I talk about ClickFunnels. I used to work at ClickFunnels. I don't work there anymore, but <laughs> that's a different story. Um, but yeah, so that book will definitely give you the guidelines that you need to just take it, run with it, really start to really take this seriously, right? Your future is serious. Um, and I honestly believe that the online marketing space is the best way today, right now, right, to get wealth. There's no quicker way to get personal wealth than getting an online business up and running, using uh, paid traffic to grow your brand, grow your business. Um, but also, but when you're starting, you definitely want to get those high level clients and, and help them out, but also make sure that you're getting money so that you can fund the business side of your own business side of things. Okay. So that's probably the best way. Honestly, guys, it's the best way to start making money in 2019 and forward, I believe. I, I, we are in the infancy stages of internet marketing. We are in the infancy stages of the internet, essentially. So you have so much time. If you get started right now, just start learning, start sketching, writing things down that you're good at, start honing in on those things, and then uh, just go out there, try to find clients that will pay you a thousand, fifteen hundred dollars a month to do those services for them. And then once you get them results, get a testimonial, and then keep pushing forward to um, new clients and new people who need your services. Okay. So that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for uh, watching this video. I hope this video gave you some inspiration and help you go out there and crush it. Um, there's no better time to start than today. Um, and I, I guarantee that if you do what I say, if you definitely hone in, just find someone that will uh, need your services, you will find that more people need your services and you can kind of grow your monthly retainer. You can easily hit 10K a month, um, which is more than most people make. 
Um, so you, you can definitely do this. I promise you. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, leave the comments down below. If you have any questions or concerns, click the link. If you want to get the dot com secrets book, read the book. It's absolutely amazing. And, uh, check out my Instagram at July the marketer. I'll see you guys in the next video.